Hello and welcome to this new video. It's a part of the series, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. You will need to see at least how to make a client-server communication. Today, we will see how to make a controlled robot with an Android app that we will make with MIT App Inventor. We will need two uh, wheels and uh, motors, a motor shield and a power bank with two outputs. You will find a link to buy online these components on the description. The connection of the motor shield is very simple. The 12 volt goes to the red wire of the power bank. The power ground goes to the black wire of the power bank. The output uh, A and B will be connected to the motors. The inputs uh, pin should be connected to any of the digital pins of the node MCU. Don't forget to power the Node MCU with an USB cable. Now let's start by programming the Node MCU. My board is not connected yet to the robot. I will do that when I will finish the programming part. Let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tunyot for ESP8266. My board will act as a server and will receive HTTP requests from the Android phone. We saw how to do that in the client-server communication video. I will keep the IP address to be sure that it will not be changed. For this example, I will send two messages. Forward to move forward the robot and stop to stop the robot and you can finish by yourself the other direction. If I receive the forward message, I need to move the motors in one direction. Let's suppose that the motor 1 is connected to D0 and D1 and the second motor is connected to D2 and D3. You need to enable only one of the digital pins of every uh, motor. In case the robot is moving around itself, uh, just change uh, the connection of the motors. You don't need uh, to change the programming part. Now I will add uh, the code to stop uh, the motors. I added uh, the answer block and also a message to print uh, on the serial monitor. Now I can upload the program and start testing my program. I will send some HTTP requests from the browser and see if the server is working fine. This is perfect. Now I will make the Android app with MIT App Inventor. We already saw how to make an Android app to control an LED in a local network. It will be the same. For this example, I will need only one button. When it's pressed, I will send a HTTP request with the uh, forward message. When I will release the button, I will send the stop. Don't forget to add the web component.
Now I'm testing the Android app that I created. And as you can see, it is sending the HTTP request as expected. Now I will plug all my components and test the app. And this is my robot and the Android app. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.